Kant has already begun to help Clive and Amanda come to terms with how their problems began. Now it's time to help them with their parenting skills, using what's called the parent-child game. They've been asked simply to play with Andrew, but behind the glass, psychologist Sue Jenner is analysing what's going on. I'm doing the, um, the baseline uh, recording, just for ten minutes, um, that we use at the beginning of the parent-child game to find out what sort of ratio there is between the um, number of child-centred behaviours that the parents come up with, which are the, um, the approving ones, the warm ones, like smiling, praising, giving them nice little strokes and touches, and the number of child-directive behaviours. Sue Jenner codes every single thing Clive and Amanda say and do. She's especially interested in the balance between their positive child-centred behaviour and their more negative child-directive behaviour. Parents of unmanageable children tend to be bossy and critical, and research shows this just makes the children worse. Where's the windows? Anyone got a windows? <laughs> oh. There's a door. I mean, he was very proud of the shed he'd made. He said, look, a shed. And the only response he got was, there aren't any windows. Yes. And he actually yes. had worked hard on me yes. in that shed. Yes. I mean, with very little um, input, yeah. Yeah. really, from the parents. There's nothing to keep him going, actually. Yeah. No. There's no verbal points to keep him going. Well, it's the usual sort of pattern. A little bit of child-centred and mostly uh, child-directed.